Hey everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Draven Academy, and today we're going to be giving you three real-world stories of individuals who wind up taking their CDL permit test and failing before they sign up with Draven Academy and what their life looks like now after signing up with Draven Academy itself. So in, if you want to get a CDL license, there's pretty much a two-step process. Step number one, you first have to pass a few different written tests to get yourself a CDL permit. Number two, you're going to have to pass a two-and-a-half-hour-long road test to get your actual license. There's a lot of little steps in between, but once you become a student here, we're going to kind of guide you through everything to make it as simple as possible for you to be successful but a lot of people kind of have the mindset of hey let me just go get my permit first and then let me go find a school to go to to actually learn how to drive and i'm going to give you three examples of individuals who wind up doing that and it probably was not the best options for them so of course i'm not going to give you their full names but uh, the first guy on the list is going to be named john now i like his name but his approach in the beginning before coming to driving academy was not the best so oh, i'm looking at my notes here he failed on his first attempt due to overconfident so he his story was pretty simple he said that his father was a truck driver his uncle was a truck driver he didn't really need to study he just went for the actual uh, permit test itself went there for the first time and wound up failing now john was going to go for a cdl class a now in order to get a cdl class a you have to pass three different written tests on your cdl permit which is going to be journal knowledge air brakes and then combination vehicle that being said he wound up taking the journal knowledge and failing now you only need about 80 percent or better to actually pass the actual test to move forward so john wound up failing 11 questions and then that was it because out of a 50 question test you can only get a maximum of 10 questions wrong once he gets that number 11 question wrong it's over now what wound up happening with john was he had a deadline on when he will actually want to go get his cdl license so he said okay this is just a fluke let me go again and i'll schedule within a week or two and then i'll get going now he went again same exact result because he didn't do any studying this time he just added a little bit of like questions and answers from a cdl app and after failing the second time now he knows that his time is to and his deadlines approaching and if he continues to do the same thing he's gonna keep getting the same result so you wind up finding us on YouTube you wind up calling our office and he wound up learning about our program and we wound up telling him hey students who actually sign up with us and go through the entire process with us 95% of them actually have a very high success rate of passing the very first time that they take the test as long as you actually follow the process now his excuse was hey yeah but I don't have time when working full-time and it's okay because we've actually designed a program that can actually help you out whenever you want especially for the permit written exam portion of it you have two options you need to come in person to our classroom we can have like a distraction free zone where you can learn the information or we'll give you access to a student portal we can do that anytime online so that means at two o'clock in the morning at two o'clock in the afternoon you can log in for as long as you want and you can start studying now the way our program works is we like to give you the real cdl knowledge you're ready to pass the test and you're also ready to be successful as a truck driver so john was committed he put down the down payment of 500 dollars, and we worked that interest free payment plan for him for the rest and what wound up happening was because he came in on a part-time basis he took the first week just to go through our course right he was working full time so after work he would log into the student portal if he had any questions he would call the office and we'd kind of walk him through those questions and then from there he wound up taking this test the very next time on friday and instead of just taking one test he wound up passing all three of them so he passed general knowledge air brakes and combination vehicle from there he then built the momentum up he followed our program the entire way through we taught him how to pass the road test itself which is inspection parking and road he wound up passing that the exact same time as well all at first attempt and then after that he actually wound up working and the same company as his dad is and now he's making more money than he's ever made in his life so john started off with saying overconfidence hey i'm just gonna go through this thing on my own and wound up kind of lowering his ego a little bit investing in himself and getting things done much faster and the cool thing about coming here as a student is we actually have our own third-party testing site which means we can help you get the permit as fast as you want you get to pick your pace and then because we have our own third-party testing site we can actually speed up and we don't have to wait for dmv to schedule you a road test which means we can actually schedule a road test for ourselves so if you want to learn from john's lesson overconfidence can kill you in the beginning it's going to delay the overall process getting some help lowering your ego and just investing in yourself might be the best way to go to get your goals accomplished the next real story on the list when it comes to the actual permit failure piece is going to be maria so maria actually wanted to get a cdl license and yes she's a female getting a cdl license we have about 10 to 15 percent of our students are actually females and they're one of the best students out now maria had a case where she had extreme test anxiety which means she would go for the actual written test and then she would get super nervous and when that happened was like her brain went blank right and most of the time test anxiety 
anxiety happens mentally, right? So not understanding how that works and also from lack of preparation. So Maria tried two or three times to go by herself and wanted to get a permit and then came to the school to kind of get things going after that. Because the first two times she like really could not understand how she would forget all the information that she studied for. Also, she was just using kind of like the apps itself and didn't really have the confidence that she needed to actually prepare to actually pass the test. So the way Maria kind of went through this process was after understanding, okay, test anxiety is a real deal for her. We actually wound up giving her the confidence that she needs by giving her real CDL knowledge, not just questions and answers to pass the test. So the way we worked with her is we actually gave her the CDL manual. She came into the classroom. She did a full-time schedule with us eight hours a day because she wanted to get in and out as fast as possible. Now, Maria came in, we gave her the CDO manual and we broke it down in chunk sized pieces. When you look at the overall CDO manual, it can be very daunting. So us understanding that we've developed the curriculum that makes it super easy, bite-sized pieces of information that build on each other. And as long as you follow the process that we created, it's gonna give you the confidence that you need. So when you go to, she actually read the CDO manual portion of it, answered the questions in the manual itself, reviewed the training videos along with that, that actually helped her understand all the information she's going through because a lot people aren't good readers right including myself and then she just continued to go through there all along the way we were given a practice test and she was able to ask our staff members if they, she had any questions needed any clarification on anything in particular. Now, that wound up giving her the confidence that she needed to go and take the test. Now, Maria was part of the 5% of individuals who actually wound up failing uh, the very first time. And once we actually understood why, it was this test anxiety. She wound up getting a lot closer than she's ever gotten before because she passed general knowledge, which is great, but she wound up failing air brakes when she went with us. So our goal is to make sure that they pass all three tests all at the same time. But Maria did have a success, was not successful on the air brake test. So we actually wind up seeing, okay, well, was actually happening so we will actually work with her and it was everything mental so we taught her two different things one what is the difference between anxiety or nervousness and excitement there's absolutely no difference there right your, your body is going to react the same way your hands are probably going to be sweaty for both you're probably going to feel some butterfly your heart's going to be pumping out of your chest whether you're excited or whether you're nervous so why not just call it excitement instead of nervousness and then all of a sudden you're going to trick your mind to think hey i'm just excited and things are going to be moving correctly because when you're nervous you're not really going to be alert when you're excited you're going to be looking for everything and that's the big difference so you're going to have a much higher attention to detail when you are feeling excited versus feeling nervous so that's the first thing that we taught her to do and she wound up saying i'm not nervous i'm just excited and then the second thing is we just taught her how to lower everything so we taught her this cool little breathing technique six deep breaths in and out with her eyes closed and then you're able to kind of reset the entire nervous system and then get going with a clear head because what wound up happening was she was nice and confident for the general knowledge portion of the test but now when it came to the air brakes she started building all these things back up in her own head and that's where she messed up so we kind of taught her those two skill sets and then she was able to rock and roll the very next time she passed journal knowledge she passed air breaks a second time she passed combination a second time she even passed her combination written test and her doubles and triples as well so she had those extra endorsements and she made a super out since then she's been an amazing student she's actually going through her training currently now she's learning how to do an offset backing which is not an easy thing to do but she's actually grabbing it and she's pretty much mastered all the pre-trip inspection. The test is coming up and I think in two or three weeks from now, and fingers crossed, she should be good to go. So we'll, we'll give you an update on Maria in the next few videos there. All right, so now the last student we're gonna be talking about is gonna be David. So David's situation was he actually was very confident and he thought that he was gonna be able to pass the test on his own. Now David, he decided to do what a lot of people do, which is just download a bunch of questions and answer apps, CDO permit prep apps on his actual phone. He just went through all these questions and answers answers itself right and he was doing that for hours on it every time he was on the toilet anytime he was at work anytime he was doing anything he was just doing all these questions and answers he wound up going for the test the very first time and he wound up failing he wound up going five different times by himself and wound up failing every single time and of course by then he was super frustrated so and then he started looking he was definitely clear on hey i want to get my cdls on youtube and then he came in to our office and we actually explained to him exactly what was going on so once he understood exactly why he was failing all the time now he was fully aware of what the next steps were and to give you the actual secret of why he was failing is those questions and answers uh, apps are great they actually teach you something but if all you're doing is memorizing questions and answers you're not really learning the information what winds up happening at the dmv is they're always changing the questions up and if they change 
one word in that question, it's a completely different question, which requires a completely different answer. So the way that we combat that is we want to give our students the real CDO knowledge and give them the foundation. So when they go to the DMV, it does not matter which questions that are asked of them, they can actually pass that test without any issue there. So of course, he didn't want to go through the study manual. He didn't really want to go through all this stuff, but he was super clear that he wanted to get a CDO license, change his life and to get himself on the road to freedom. So he was committed. He followed the process to the T, went through the training program. He actually did it online because he was working full time again. I think he did two or three hours at a time. And I think within two weeks, he was ready to rock and roll. He was getting 90% or better on our practice test. And our practice test also imitates those questions and answers that you'll get on the app. Plus more that you probably don't see on the app on stuff that actually come from the actual DMV test. That being said, after going through our program, he actually wound up passing all three written tests the very first time, which was general knowledge, air brakes, and passenger endorsement. So David actually wanted to go get a bus license, a class B license with a passenger endorsement. He wound up passing all of that. From there, he wound up continuing with our training. We taught him exactly how to do a pre-trip inspection on the bus, proper parking, how to pick up and drop off kids, how to do railroad crossings on the road, all that stuff. Went to our third party testing site and he wound up passing the very first time simply because he was committed and not year off the path. Now we have a proven program that works and we've already trained over 10,000 students. That being said, if you come in and you follow our program, you should have no issue. If you come in and kind of want to do things your own way, that's where you're going to have a little bit of an issue, right? I'll give you three different examples of students who kind of started on their own, all gung-ho about it, and were not really as successful as they wanted to be. And it's okay to get help, right? That's what we're here for. We're here so you can invest in yourself, make sure that you get the proper training. We'll give you the clear path because we've done it over 10,000 times already. And we're going to make it super simple for you to be successful. So I just gave you three different examples of students who wanted to kind of do this thing on their own first. And then after hitting their head against the wall a bunch of times, decided to come on in and actually get training done. So lower your ego, be clear in your outcome that all these people had very clear outcomes. I wanted to get my CDO license because they want their lives to get better. That being said, they were able to lower their ego, invest into themselves, enroll into one of our training programs that we have here. We're the best truck driving school in the entire country. And after that was done, then they were able to see success much faster. That being said, if you have a goal of getting a CDO license, don't try to figure things out on your own. Don't bang your head against the wall so many times. We have a proven system where we've trained over 10,000 students. As long as you follow our guidelines and you follow our path, you're going to be successful. You start going outside the path and outside the guidelines, then you're going to be a little bit more upset because you're not going to get the results that are proven to work for over 10,000 people so far. That being said, if you're interested in taking the first step and learning more about our program, check out our website, cdldrivingacademy.com and cdldrivingacademy.com. Thanks. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really going to help us out. Click on that button. And if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.